Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Virgo. How are you guys, Virgo? Hope you're all well. See what's happening with you, single Virgos, in your love life. See the Empress, something new beginning, so beautiful. It's about being open, okay? Being open to receive something new. So I can definitely see this could be yourself could be another person or just your and en the energy so we have the moon so yeah we have the moon hmm. cancer energy someone here's exploring their feelings it might be somebody you know like i say you could have someone who's kind of keeping their feelings to themselves and we have a little pisces energy some pisces and cancer energy Someone's exploring their feelings. So this is someone wanting to date. They could be checking you out. You may be unaware. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe Taurus energy, Libra energy here as well. Yeah, someone's a little indecisive. Someone's a little unsure here. You, know? could be, you, you may be failing to recognize that there's someone who's been checking you out or vice versa. You often see that. But it's a person taking a pause a little introspection there's some things that somebody maybe doesn't know about you vice versa but it really looks like there's a person who wants to date they're definitely in their feelings here but it's just an energy of dating it's hard to say where it can go yeah, we have yeah this is someone here who's a little unsure if they should reach out you may not feel the same so they're a little afraid you won't feel the same as they do okay yeah, so there we have options and possibilities, a little fantasizing. So this is someone who's kind of looking at the possibilities, maybe a little procrastinating, you see. Maybe you have other options or something that they don't know, probably about yourself. You may have other options. So they're a little concerned, I feel here, that you may not reciprocate. You might not feel the same. Okay? You might not be interested in this person. You may even have other people reaching out to you. You could be feeling indecisive. Um, but it's just an energy of taking that pause, you see, and making a decision. So well, it's like I say, you may not even realize that someone's interested in you or vice versa. Well, yeah, the Empress isn't afraid to start something if they want. Yeah, and we also see the Two of Pentacles. This is someone, should I or shouldn't I? Will they feel the same? Are they seeing someone else? <laughs> Little back and forth. This could be somebody maybe comparing you to someone else or another situation. Uh, but this is definitely a person taking a pause. This is that little moment, you know, of seeing things from a different perspective, seeing things different. They're back and forth in their head. Let's have a look at this Empress energy. Yeah, so this is someone in your social circle. So you may be, like I say, you may be open, okay? It's being open if it's yourself, but it's sometimes just an energy of something new, okay? You may be unaware of this energy, but I definitely see, you know, online dating, social media, someone in your community. Tell me about the moon. Yeah, so there's somebody here who's got a little anxiety, a little fear. Yeah, this is somebody who kind of, they want to reach out, but maybe they, you know, a little afraid they're going to regret it. You might not feel the same. So, um, but often, you know, like I say, it's often just unfounded fear. Now, it could be somebody here who, like I say, may be regretting something here. We'll see. Tell me about this knave of chalices. Yeah, so someone a little shy, a little apprehensive. They're just looking at their feelings. They're not 100% sure, yeah. Somebody who's a little unsure. It's about put, shy about putting themselves out there and then you not feeling the same, you see. But they are looking at that. They are, you know, like I say, looking at it. It could be somebody just wanting to approach you. You may have people around, you know. They may be looking to see, you know, if this is somebody, if you're seeing other people. But they're back and forth. Tell me about the hanged man. Oops. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. Somebody with some Pisces in their chart, Cancer, Scorpio. But it's just a person here. Like I say, like it could really be uh, yourself here. But it's an energy of someone who's kind of, 
you know, just kind of hanging around. Maybe it's someone who hangs around in your social circle, in your community, or they go someplace where you go. Uh, and then we have the Two of Cups. So there's definitely this uh, connection. Yeah, this is energy of someone putting themselves out there. Someone's a little bit shy or a little apprehensive about where this is going to go, you see. Yeah, you may be aware. If you are feeling you're in that Empress energy, and the Empress knows their worth, knows their value, but it's about being open. Okay, so it's being open to all the possibilities, being open to invitations. So it's also letting someone know you're open, you see. Yeah, so we have a house, a home, a party, a celebration. Uh, so this is a nice energy. There could be a wedding, a party, some kind of get together. So this person's likely going to try to approach you. Maybe you're checking them out too. <laughs> I feel like you're, you know, you're open to this. I feel like you're waiting here with that uh, Queen of Cups. But I feel like it's yourself exploring your own feelings here. I feel we got two people checking each other out here. One of you is a little shyer, a little less likely to really just put themselves out there. So, yeah, so it has to do with waiting patiently. So you probably know who it is. You're waiting for this person maybe to connect, to invite you to something, invite you over. But there's this energy of a celebration. See, it's about investing. Now, this could be to do with the timing. Someone may be just waiting for the right time. So yeah and then we have yeah so this is a place where people congregate where they socialize it's a safe place so if this is someone online do meet in a safe place okay also be careful of the story someone tells you okay you don't want to have any regrets you know, if it is online dating go someplace safe where there's a lot of people bring some friends along okay if you have a person here who may be a little apprehensive of introducing to their friends okay really watch that energy too so but i actually feel here virgo what you have is a person who's well they go someplace possibly where you go so someone who just kind of hangs around the same places maybe they're waiting for you to reach out <laughs> let's have a look at the two of swords yeah so this is someone taming the beast within themselves he's just being patient Mm -hmm. it's yourself too not being ruled by your emotions you see taming the beast not reaching out to someone you want this person to reach out to you i feel you're just kind of you know like i say and you may have other options too like i say you're open to other options invitations parties celebrations get togethers uh, this is festivals weddings all kinds of celebrations here so i know we got july 1st and july 4th coming up for uh, canada and the states but this could be other places in the world absolutely here so like i say it could be weddings and festivals parties but it's definitely an energy of being emotionally fulfilling see so i feel there's someone who's apprehensive of just putting themselves out there now it could be if you have people around you all the time they don't really want to say anything in front of people it has to do with someone becoming confident see and someone here maybe it's an energy of someone who like i say is failing maybe it's yourself you know make sure you real realize you might fail to see this person may not be as confident as you so like I say, letting somebody know that you're open. So we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, a little Pisces energy there. So you could have that in your chart, or maybe this person is. But it's a you know, it's about trusting your intuition, your inner knowing. Okay. I feel like you already know this person isn't very confident. And it's I feel like you have more confidence. So maybe this person's hoping that you'll be the one to reach out. And the Empress will often do that. You know, the Empress is kind and compassionate and understanding. They may, you know, this person may kind of see you that way as the Empress energy. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is this here? Yeah, so this is definitely an energy of someone taming the beast, not being in a hurry. This is often a person who rushes in out and just keeps right on going. See, back and forth, on and off. So like I say, you might compare this to another person too. Um, it's possible you're the one back and forth comparing. Uh, but this is of, often a person here, see, taming the beast and being coming enthusiastic. It's a very charming person. So yeah like i say i i feel with this energy into me i see trusting your intuition you see so somebody who's keeping something to themselves possibly too a little little secretive a little shy but i feel like you already know 
Okay, I feel like you already know that this person, like I say, they're a little unsure here. They're unable to make a decision because they're not sure if you're going to feel the same. That's really all it is, that you won't feel the same. You won't be interested. Uh, I feel like you know who this person is. Yeah. Tell me about this Knight of Rods. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Yeah. It's an energy of comparing someone, uh, speaking your truth, asking the question. So if the, you feel this is someone keeping secrets or keeping something here, it's secretive, but it's really just a person I feel who's afraid of opening up emotionally or just, like I say, just putting themselves out there in front of a lot of people. So it could be a lot of people um, at some kind of event here. But it looks like it's a place where you go. It could be close to home in your neighborhood. Um, but it has to do with an invitation, I feel. Let's have a look at this Two of Pentacles. See, this is your inner wisdom like you know. See, this is your inner wisdom guiding you. See, you're being wise because I do feel here, you know. Um, you have to. This is yourself being confident. Being wise because you know okay how this person's feeling because you're being kind and compassionate there's the empress energy so there's the energy of change so this could be somebody coming back around maybe it's something you fail to recognize or them but this is the energy of wisdom knowledge the things that you already know your inner knowing so you know you need to question this person because like i say this could be somebody who just you know rushes in but i feel it has to do with yourself too right Maybe you, you know yourself. You don't want to rush into anything that you have to, you know, back out of. But it's definitely an energy of someone who's charming, enthusiastic. So it's about this person being enthusiastic. Confident, you see. They may, they may come in that way, but they actually could, you know, feel a little insecure, a little apprehensive. Yeah, so you have a king of cups. We have a king and queen of cups here. So this is someone here who takes a little bit of time to kind of explore their feelings, figure it out what it is they want. So it is a dating process, but I actually feel this is someone who's just a little shy about asking you out or approaching you. Maybe you're a little unapproachable. Watch your words. Maybe this person's heard something that you maybe have other people. You're seeing other people. Okay, but you're definitely no pushover, I'll tell you that. Oh, something cooking there. We got a king of cups. This is an energy of someone here. It's an energy of someone just kind of going with the flow, seeing how things go. Okay, so that's your wisdom, just kind of going with it here. But you're definitely, if somebody comes rushing in, they come on too strong. Okay, I definitely feel you're going to have something to say about it, but in a kind and compassionate way. Yeah. Let me just grab, let me have a look at that Three of Cups. Yeah, see, options, possibilities, keeping your options open. You see, so there's a lot of people around you. This is someone who's probably checking you out. You know, they see a lot of people around you, so they're not so sure. There's a little confusion, something that's hidden, something they're unable to see. I feel a lot of this indecision is this person. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, so do make sure you're approachable, okay? Because um, sometimes the Queen of Swords can be a little unapproachable, okay? <clears throat> so trust that intuition on that. Tell me about the High Priestess, yeah? You're gonna, definitely going to talk. I feel like you know this person's, you know, like I say, it's something uh, likely not yet meant to be known because I do see that. Because uh, often the Knave of Swords, that's, you know, this, is, uh, this isn't a knight, I feel, actually. This is, feels more like a page energy. Um, but I feel this is somebody who um, knows they kind of need to um, put themselves out there. So this is an energy of someone being a little cautious. See, they offer one cup, nothing more. They keep a lot to themselves. So you're very wise to this. Um, but I, I feel it's making sure you're approachable. I feel they're a little... You know, they're going to approach you cautiously, put it that way. <laughs> well, they may have heard you talking to other people. Like I say, you know, messages on the grapevine. 
But uh, yeah, so there it is. You're going to question this, definitely. But this is inner wisdom. I feel like you already know. I feel like you're aware of this person. You may be acting like you don't know, but you do. That's what I feel for the most part. But it has to do with this person reaching out. Okay. And it's also an energy of taking the initiative. Yeah, they have to start it. They have to start this. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of mystery. I feel it's an energy of this being a little bit of a mystery, too. There's something this person probably doesn't know. But this is also the mystery of the Empress. You see? You're pretty wise here. This could be other people involved, too. This could be somebody giving somebody advice. Uh, giving this person advice. <laughs> well, they'll cut you out, right? Like I say, it could be all kinds of energies, but it's an energy of somebody new. So this is the energy of new, everything being exposed. Uh, this person, they have to start it. So they have to find the confidence within themselves. Okay, so there's that indecision. So, I mean, it could be yourself not sure. You're not really sure how you'll feel. You could be the one also exploring your feelings here. You don't know where this is going to go. But it's definitely about you're not afraid to express yourself or somebody is giving them advice. Could be even yourself giving someone advice. But, you know, like I say, I feel like you've got this person. They have to be the one to approach. But it's an energy of just kind of going with the flow, kind of just seeing what happens. Okay. So, and with the, with this energy, like I say, it's a person who kind of procrastinates because you've, you either, it, it's definitely a public place because you've got people around you. So they're looking at this. Uh, somebody here could be a partner. You may be involved with someone else. Uh, you're also going to be making sure, like I say, you're, whatever this person tells you, if they're not telling you what you need to know when you do connect, because I do see you having a conversation with this person you know, sharing some feelings, talking, uh, but I, maybe it has to do with the timing, but it has to do with investing, you see, waiting for the right time. Yeah, there's something else going on here. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so it's manifesting, see, the Empress, you're mastering life, you have all the tools, you have everything you need. Now, this is someone who's trying to manifest you. You're going to be, I feel like you're wise here. You know, you've got a lot of, you've got a lot of power here. I feel like you're the one with the power here in some ways. But like I say, if you're in that Queen of Swords energy, you're going to be very wise. You've been manipulated before. If you have someone who offers one little cup, nothing more, they're secretive. But it's also an energy of someone who's, like I say, playing it safe, being cautious. But I feel yourself, you're being careful what you wish for. Uh, as well so you know, there's definitely that energy but i feel like i say if you've been manipulated more before and they're keeping secrets and they're seeing someone else you're going to be wise you know, there's just things that are unknown and i i mean it, it it could be someone coming back around maybe they have some kind of regrets it's a lot of i actually feel there's a lot of unfounded fear and it, it actually could be a do-over somebody who wants another opportunity Okay, this could be somebody wanting another opportunity. Might be a little afraid to approach you uh, again. Like, that's not afraid to approach because we got the sword up there. Yeah, some of you may have someone new, like I say. So that sun is shining, everything coming out in the open. It's being exposed, you see, someone exposing themselves. Everything out in the open. They have to start it. Whoever it is, they have to start it. Yeah, this is how someone conducts themselves. See, the way someone conducts themselves, it's about having faith. Making sure everything's out in the open. Making sure you're on the same page that you get each other. So this is yourself, I feel, questioning, being discerning a lot of you. Others of you, it's another person involved. You know, giving this person some kind of advice. Code of conduct, morals, values, you see. But it has to do with uh, the way someone conducts themselves. Really watch how you conduct yourself. Or it's somebody watching how you conduct yourself, you see. Maybe a little afraid. You speak your truth. You just speak up. <laughs> mm, vice versa there, definitely. Well, hanged man's in the house. There's always a lot of back and forth. So I feel this is someone back and forth in their head. Yeah, maybe you know something about this person. Maybe you know some secrets, vice versa. Mm, maybe somebody was juggling. Could be yourself, could be someone else, but 
Yeah, regardless, I feel like you're very wise. You're going to watch how they conduct themselves. You know, it's energy of having faith. Morals and values being on the same page. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, so somebody's got some cancer in their chart. Doesn't mean they do, but it's energy of someone who's trying to not be ruled by their emotions or trying to stay in control, you see? So it's energy of someone trying to take control. They want this to be successful. So this is someone determined this is successful. Could be someone, like I say, coming back around, but it's about just going with the flow, trying not to, it's letting go of the outcome, try not to control anything. So I feel it has to do with letting go of control. Maybe that's why the Empress is here, okay? Tell me about the magician. Yeah, so it has to do with um, somebody maybe just looking for attention, but it has to do with um, uh, victory. Somebody didn't have a victory maybe first time around. They may be trying again. Like I say, a do-over. Somebody looking for another opportunity. So, But it has to do with success, long-term planning. Someone who's been playing the field, dating a lot of people. See, this is that energy of something that isn't successful and it turning around to something that is. So it's an energy of chasing. You're not chasing someone, you see. Maybe this is someone who's used to being chased. It could be the way someone's communicating. Maybe you don't like the way um, someone approaches here, but uh, it's off, off, often a person is just looking for attention, but they could be looking, like I say, to see who's giving you attention. Yeah, so I feel there's some unknown energy. This person here, like I say, has some unfounded fear of some sort. Let's have a look at that. Some of you, it's definitely a do-over. Someone coming back around, being more emotionally mature, available, not afraid of expressing themselves. So it has to do with morals and values and just being on the same page. Yeah, you. If you have a choice between two, which is possible, some of you may have some choices here. You may have someone you're just not on the same page with. And you may just tell someone that. And you may have something new. But this is where I feel someone's kind of looking at how this is going to play out. I often see that with the Seven of Cups, where someone kind of prepares ahead. You know, they kind of plan what they're going to say. Or, you know, It's energy of sort of expecting uh, certain things and being ready for it. So you may not be interested. That's what I feel. You may not feel the same. But yeah, I definitely can see someone looking to see who you're giving attention to. If you have someone who's just looking for attention, they're not going to get very far. <laughs> uh -huh. Nine of Swords, yeah, there it is, the aha moment, the truth, victory, success, win or lose, you see, but that's where the light bulb goes off the idea. This person's determined, and that could be someone giving them advice, giving them some kind of an idea, you know, so they're, like I say, there looks like there could be other people involved, friends or family, people around you. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this chariot, this determination of this person. And here they're definitely single so they're determined it could be someone finding out that you're single so this is where they come in see coming in to take control um, very interesting virgo that could be yourself they're finding out you're single maybe you just want to be single i don't know some of you may be but i feel this is someone who finds out the truth you're single you see so there's that apprehension, you see. They're keeping something to themselves, offering something. But it's an energy of someone who's playing it safe. And I feel like you're. it's also yourself playing it safe. Not sharing too much. Offering one cup. That's what the Empress does. Offers one cup. You're making sure they're not just looking for attention. You know, that person who rushes in, rushes out. <laughs> uh, they start things they don't finish kind of energy, you see. Tell me about the strength and taming the beast. This is where you're teaching someone how you want to be treated. But like I say, you know, might be a little cautious with too much of that energy. It depends if it is someone you know. Yeah. So there's an energy of walking away. But here's the energy of searching. See, somebody finding the strength to walk away. But it's a person who's searching for a soulmate. 
Yeah, see someone taking lessons they've learned. See, some of you have learned a lot of lessons here. It's also knowing when to walk away um, as well. It's about knowing when, taming the beast, knowing when to walk away when it's not emotionally fulfilling, where it's something that you don't want. But I actually feel it's an energy of somebody else. This person's leaving something behind. It's more than likely an energy, but this is about two people taking the time to get to know each other, you see? So this could be someone at a distance. Tell me more about this walking away. See, this is someone who's searching. Like I feel, maybe this person decided to walk away. Maybe you did. Because it does look like a do-over. Somebody wants another opportunity. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Yeah, we have a person. We have the King and Queen of Swords. So there you go. Now I can see. Yeah, very interesting. This is a person who's, you know, analyzing a situation. It has to do with being confident about making a decision. See, somebody didn't feel confident, so they chose to walk away. So they've definitely learned something from this experience, knowing when to move away. But it's also an energy of somebody here. I see somebody keeping a little secret here, but I feel it's an energy of trusting their inner knowing. So we have two people very wise. It's like you both know something here. <laughs> Those feelings, emotions. I, I feel it has to do with two people just sharing their feelings. I feel like maybe they want you to first tell them how you feel. Okay, so it could be a little bit of a strategy. But some of you could be walking away from a king of swords and you may have this other person because I definitely see options and possibilities, people around you, um, social events. Uh, I see something that wasn't successful. Uh, and something that could be a victory. See, manifesting. Two people. I feel like you may even mirroring each other a little bit here. You see? Two people trying to manifest each other. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't always start out right, does it? You know? It's always that initial. See, someone here failed to recognize. Somebody was indecisive, failed to recognize a magical opportunity. Maybe this is someone who rejected you or maybe you rejected them because of the way they uh, presented themselves, the way they conducted themselves. Uh, but it has to do with someone being, you know, having faith in the path they're on, having faith in expressing themselves, starting something. And that's likely what you want, the way they conduct themselves. You want someone who comes in right. Uh, the, queen, the Empress wants someone who comes in right. Yeah, see? It's energy of someone who rushes in. They want to take things to the next level. They're in too much of a hurry. And the Queen of Swords is like, uh-uh-uh, not going to happen. But definitely, yeah, it is an energy of approaching. See how they, they're going to approach you. You might be a little unapproachable, okay? So really watch that energy. Like I say, the Empress isn't always perfect, but there are lessons being learned here, see? Knowing when to move on, but it's also taking those lessons and applying them to the next um, person. So you know, there's some choices here, absolutely, but it's an energy of someone who's either rejected someone. It could be a fear of rejection, so it's like they want you to make the first move. So, And it could even be both of you. So, but we have this birth of something new here, so... <laughs> Uh -huh. Everything's going to be illuminated. So it has to do with somebody starting it. Who's going to make the first move? More than likely. I really see a lot of negative energy. It's just, you know, a lot of people don't like rejection. Somebody has a little bit of an ego, you see. So it's energy of letting go of that ego. See, we got two people. I feel we got two people being ruled by that ego, to be honest. Yeah. You don't know where something's going to go. So like I say, it's about just kind of letting go of the outcome here. You know, taking a little time to get to know each other. I see a conversation. I see two people going to drink from each other's cups here. But if you have a choice, um, you may choose to walk away from someone. You may have another person coming towards you. You may be going down another path. This is an energy of someone who's at a, you know, that crossroads in their life, choosing a new path, you know. Going down, going in a different direction here. So, like I say, some of you could be just out of here, you know. But you got new, regardless whether it's somebody coming in with a whole new energy or just starting it. 
it looks like somebody having to make the first move for most of you yeah making the first move so we have the empress the birth of something new so like i say if you have somebody here and they won't make a move and they're not confident about a decision you may decide to just walk away or they decide to because they're a, because of fear of rejection but someone's failing to recognize a magical opportunity and that's why some of you it's someone coming back around but i feel this is all going to uh, take place someplace out in public or um but there is definitely an energy for some of you with three here absolutely but others of you it's friends or family or just someplace out in the community okay i feel it's fairly close to home they could be at a distance maybe another community i don't feel like they're too far away if you have someone here you're not confident about because they are at a distance they are too far away you know somebody here trying to distance themselves from someone you know it's not good enough it's not what you want or they're not your type so there could be that energy too we know the empress doesn't settle uh, but the Empress is always kind and compassionate. So whatever's being said here, I don't feel like it's harsh or sharp. In fact, you could be very uh, witty, very charming. You could be telling jokes, whatever the situation. So don't necessarily feel this is really, really negative energy in any, any shape or form. It really has to do with this person being confident. You see? Somebody here maybe isn't confident. You want someone who comes in, somebody who knows what they want. That's what the Empress is. Like, you know, come to me uh, right. Approach you when you're confident and you know what you want. So that could be a do-over energy. Huh? Someone taking their time, slow and steady, wins the race. There's a little apprehension, but it's a person who wants this to be successful. You see? Yeah. Somebody who wants this to go well. So there's a little planning here be planning something and they're looking at all the details of the situation someone taking their time you know we've got a definitely a person focused on finances a person who's busy maybe they travel for work maybe your paths have crossed uh, maybe during a vacation or work they could come to your place of business or vice versa uh, but there's definitely this we've got a king of pentacles here some of you definitely have a choice but I feel a lot of this is just one person going through these energies, the lessons they've learned. They're manifesting. See, this is somebody who's learning all the lessons of the kings. And then we have an empress energy, somebody who's already learned their lessons. So it has to do with you could be at a different level. See, it's an energy of leveling up. Someone's leveling up here. So this is quite interesting uh, read but this is a king of pentacles is someone who plans and prepares ahead grounded and sensible definitely financially stable this is somebody coming in stable you see grounded uh, it's energy of whether somebody is ready for a relationship here uh, it's energy of choosing the one see someone choosing the one this person could be very sexy, very attractive, vice versa energy possibly as well. I feel it's an energy, some of you definitely, it's an energy of two people checking each other out. Okay, some of you have a choice. You may have a couple people checking you out or you are because you could be very well just keeping your options open. I definitely feel it's telling you if you, you know, to get out and socialize, let people know you're open, that you're available. Okay, so this could be a friend, someone giving advice. <laughs> well, that's why I feel there's another person here, but it doesn't look like a love interest. It just feels like someone who's wise. Yeah, see, it's this energy of a cycle ending, things going in someone's favor. So you know, this is someone who's strategizing. They want things to go in their favor. They want this to work. So they're kind of planning and looking at this. But see, this is someone who's becoming grounded. They're leveling up. Okay. So there we go. They could have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. There's definitely a Taurus energy here. Capricorn, of course, yourself, Virgo. See, this is someone finding out you're single, too. See, that's where a lot of you, they're just finding out you're single. I mean, maybe it's yourself cutting someone out and you're ready for something new. It's new here. New, new connection. Someone... Definitely everything's going to be exposed and out in the open. Someone expressing themselves. You know, taking a leap of faith, a little Aries or Scorpio energy. Uh, doesn't have to be, but it's an energy of someone taking a leap of faith. 
see leaving something behind going down this path so it's a little bit of a risk so i feel like i say if you've taken the empress has taken risks before and learned from those risks so as i say being cautious the empress is a little cautious a little careful see playing it safe but i feel this other person's playing it safe so that's what i feel that could be just a common energy you have but let's see where this goes yeah, i see honeymoon travel so there could be someone from a um you've met on a um, a trip a holiday it, i i wouldn't necessarily say honeymoon but yeah <laughs> it's possible in the future but i feel this is energy of uh, something to do with a holiday a trip where you've met this person okay but it's often just the six of swords energy yeah it's an energy of someone, you know, two people growing closer, talking, communicating. Uh, definitely this is someone who's single. It's also a person who knows when to move on to avoid a disaster. Yeah, Someone calling in their soulmate. Someone searching for their soulmate. I feel like you already know the person you've been seeking. Okay, and I feel the person, like I say, this is two people who maybe went, maybe that you went your separate ways. Your path's crossing again. I often see this in readings, but like I say, they may have been a little shy, apprehensive, unprepared. They weren't ready, whatever the situation. It's often an energy just controlled by their ego. Or it's a person who's focused on, you know, playing the field. Date. Maybe they just wanted to date other people. They're not ready or they're focused on being financially successful. This is often a person who chases success. They want to be financially stable. So really you know there's definitely a lot here virgo uh food for thought but i'll tell you this energy is someone here you know leaving something behind and taking a leap of faith going down this path taking something to the next level someone has a little aries in their chart somewhere someone with some sag yeah so there's a heart to heart conversation going to take place here it's two people talking i feel this is a person who's single Okay, you're single, they're finding out you're single, and this is where they kind of just swoop in and take control. So you know, it's often a person who, if they see you talking to other people, they often try to, you know, get you alone. They want to talk to you alone. They try to, you know, steer you in another direction, get you away from the other people to talk. It's, not, it's about someone coming in to take control. But, you know, I feel with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, there's two people honestly going to discuss their feelings. Maybe you don't feel the same. It's hard to say. You know, this could be something that's worth waiting for. Mm -hmm. you know, some of you are just waiting for the one. As you could be the king of swords in this energy, or the king of swords. You could be, uh, but you could be the king of pentacles, okay? Uh, you could also be that empress energy. Yeah, we got a couple of single people here. Uh, two people taking the time to get to know each other. So there's definitely chemistry. Uh, it's energy of being safe to love. So I'm seeing a lot of these cards coming out for people. It reminds me of the New Year's readings. A lot of people are going to connect with their person. You know, the soulmate. Maybe you're just going to be friends first too. Often this is two people just um being friends friends first maybe you socialize your friends your acquaintances like i say it's somebody who's looking to see who you're giving your attention to okay they're manifesting but there's definitely a mirroring here and that's because we have the king and queen of uh, cups two people manifesting each other but with the empress here the empress is definitely no pushover the empress wants truth okay they want to know okay but like I say, the Empress uh, with the Queen of Swords is often just very witty, very charming, sometimes very funny. Um, there could be something to do with a little somebody with a sense of humor here. So like I say, um, interesting. Someone here definitely doesn't want to look like a fool. I can see that. But yeah, I feel like this is something. You know, somebody's been kind of doing some waiting, but this is something that's worth waiting for, this conversation, a soulmate. So yeah. I say it could be some of you moving away from one person another person coming in um it's very interesting read here but there's definitely what i one thing i can say about the whole reading there's a lot of possibilities here there's options possibilities invitations events but it has to do with two people connecting okay two people this is making the empress make sure someone has their best interest the empress plays it safe 
okay just sharing a little bit just giving this person so much because they have to be able to find the confidence to put themselves out there as well but i feel like we have two people who are just kind of waiting for the other person to make a move more than anything so there could be parties events um you know literally with a the wheel of fortune here this could be something yearly you know maybe a whole year has gone by but regardless, yeah, so Empress, Empress loves them, you know, someone loving themselves first. So as I say, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So it's a beautiful energy. See, it's your, your beliefs, your values, the way you're conducting yourself. So someone's very attracted. Likely they've been checking you out, seeing the way you behave, you see in public. So yeah, nice energy. Right, Virgo? I feel this is really positive. So I feel whatever it is you've been waiting for. If you've been waiting kind of for this person, hoping, checking each other out, hoping they make a move. You know, it might take them a little bit of time to find the confidence because I do feel they're wise. They're, you know, they're inner knowing the things that they've learned. This is someone who knows when to walk away. Okay. Uh, and it's possible they did. Maybe they just weren't ready. You see, maybe the timing was off. Maybe you were in another relationship or like I say, they could be trying to approach you. You always have people around you. So it's an energy of separating yourself from the crowd because not everybody's going to walk up to you and ask you out in front of a bunch of people. Okay, so take a look around you when you're out and about the hangman there. Take a look around. Okay, take a pause. <laughs> Lovely. Take care. We'll see you soon.